Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. To say, count another Steve's, and today, chums, for you guys and the viewer verse, I'm going whale fishing for a third day. But this time, I'm going to interject with some ideas to perhaps improve whale hunting. Let me show the two whales that I found in previous episodes. So here we go, let's go on over to the last page. Hmm, they're out on missions right now, so I don't think I'm going to be... No, I can't see images of them. So you can just see the names, which mean nothing. Right, okay, brilliant. Well, you can see their stats. So they're not too bad, they're okay stat-wise, but they're C-classes. But they are hopefully going to level up as I send them out on frigate missions. Ha-ha! Now, you don't get these things quickly. Heck, no, you don't. It's a bit of a grind. It's a bit of a long one at that, people. So this is the panel where my first idea comes into play, people. Yes, my first mind-blowing. Idea! Here it comes, hold on to your freaking seats, people. So at the moment, warping in our actual freighters does very little. You don't even get a freighter interaction or a freighter in distress, but I'm hoping that one day perhaps Hello Games implement it so when you warp inside of your freighter, perhaps you get a living frigate interaction where pirates are trying to harvest its bone parts or whatever. They're shooting at it, they're trying to poach it, they're pro proper whaling it, mate. Perhaps as soon as you warp in right now, there could be an alarm sounding like everything flashing red and it says, you know, whale song, whale in distress. And you look out of the window and you can see all these pirates sort of shooting at this giant space whale. And, you know, it, it's taking damage. Maybe some of the pods on it are exploding and things. You know, it's proper in distress. And you've got like a, a message marker pop up from the whale song at the actual HUD saying, do you want to help? You hit yes. And it gives you the time to run down to the, choose your best ship of choice to take on all of these pirates. Perhaps this could be quite a high level sort of things considering that you've already got your freighter at this point. I mean what would be really cool is if you could actually select for your freighter to engage. So if you have got a load of frigates with you that are combat related they can shoot at it but no you can fly it in your ship as well and you can assist too by taking out the actual pirates. But it'd be so cool to actually see your freighter come into play as well with all the gun turrets rotating. It'd be nice to be able to swap out some of the hollow points, you know, the actual turrets on freighters. So yeah, that's what I would like to see. And then after you've rescued it, maybe you could say, please let me join your fleet. And then you can say, yes, I like you in my fleet. Right now I'm trying to get an anomaly detector by shooting asteroids, which is another thing that I really wish that they could improve on. So yes, that whole frigate interaction could add an extra element of gameplay to it. But I'm also thinking, if, you, if you've if you got like different weapons installed, like the actual phase beams that I've got here, I mean, they're completely upgraded. It'd be nice if there was a stat for upping the chances of getting anomalous beacons or detectors to drop when mining asteroids or higher tier items in general. So you're more likely to get tritium crystals rather than tritium. And, you know, rather than getting silver and gold, you're more likely to get platinum. Platinum. But not only that, it ups your chances for getting the anomaly beacon detectory thing for finding wells or in the first freaking place. So upgrading your weapons actually does something for mining. I think that'll be that would probably be a nice little add-in to be fair. And add a little less RNG and a little bit less shooting of asteroids. Because you know, I'm here for a good like 20 to 30 minutes just shooting asteroids. And I'm in game it. It kind of feels that like they're forcing you to go back to just a sheer grind for the sake of grinding. You know, even having the dream aerial installed, maybe that could up the chances. How about that? Later that same evening. It was much later that same evening. that It did take me a good freaking 40 minutes to get this um, freaking beacon. Anyhow, I've activated it and let's warp. Let's warp and let's go and find ourselves a lovely interaction with a space whale. Now, I'm also thinking if you've got the Dream Aerial installed, perhaps it could speed up this process somewhat, because this takes ages! Much later, much, much later. So much later and so, people, I had to put off making this video to the very next day. Freaking heck yes. Anyhow, was it worth it? I've got myself another snaky-tailed sort of long frigate, which is one of my favourites, to be fair. And look at that. How many fins has he got? Pretty darn sweet. I like this one. This one's pretty darn gnarly, isn't it? Got one that looks similar, but this one is very nice. He's joining my fleet. Heck yes, he is. Brilliant. This is in Euclid. There's the code at the bottom of the screen there. Now, I must say, though, when you do get the whale song and you exit warp and you're like, oh, what have I got? What have I got? It is quite exciting. It's quite good. It's just that the process of getting the actual anomaly detector and then trying to get your whale can take ages. Now, I've flown, say, about you know, 25 minutes into space right now to pick this one up. 
So by the time that I want to actually save the game now, I, I really, I should just jump to another system because there's a good chance it could break my game. Let's see how far away I am right now. Because the further you get from the station, the more janky the sort of weld gets. Yeah, so there you go. I was warping for 21 minutes to get this one. So it actually took me longer this time to get my detector than it did to get my whale. It's completely random numbers game, people. Completely random numbers. And here we go, peeps. I've actually just jumped into another system, and guess what I got? I got a freighter battle happening right below me right now, people. And they're messaging me saying, Captain Steve, please help me, help me. And I'm like, no, no, I'm just going to go into the freaking station because I've got another idea to put across to my freaking viewer verse about freaking finding whales. But yeah, it doesn't just have to happen, I guess, when you're warping inside of your actual freighter to different areas, getting a whale poaching interaction. Maybe it could happen on ship jumps as well, or maybe going through a black hole or something. I just feel the need to be other ways and means to come across frigates in the wild. I mean, they're living Leviathan or space whales. And uh, yeah, it just seems a little bit random numbers at the moment. So I was thinking perhaps inside of the stations or inside of the Nexus, adding in a mission that gives you the anomaly detector at least, or gives you maybe a batch of say five anomaly detectors. Because you know we, we do go hunting for these whales quite a lot. At least it would cut down the element of actually, you know, having to go shoot a load of space rocks. And maybe the mission that it gives you could be a mission that's related to the space world. So maybe going to save one from pirate poachers and it jumps you to a neighboring pirate system, which would help people that haven't got the actual scanners installed to find the pirate systems as well. And that way helping those that haven't got the scanners installed, but yes, a mission to help the living frigate that's in distress, as well as giving a reward of an anomaly beacon, or five, yeah, or three, or whatever they feel the number is fair. Anyway, people, that's my ideas, but I would love to hear your ideas on how they could make this more gamified. Yes, put all your mind-blowing ideas in the video comments, people in the view of us, and until next time, you've been awesome, and I've been Captain Steve. Cheery Bynes! Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.